Hello, I just want to show very quickly how to set up a new project in Visual Studio 2019 that uses the Pixel Game Engine. The first thing I would do is start Visual Studio 2019. And it gives you this option screen now, that's a bit different to how 2017 used to work. I recommend choosing the option Create a New Project. It gives you a list of all sorts of different projects down here, but make sure that the language you've selected is C++. And there are two projects you can choose, uh, the console app project, which we'll put in some junk which we don't need, or an empty project. So I'm going to choose empty project and click next. Then I'm going to give the project a name. So we'll have a demonstration pixel game engine. And then I'm going to click the create button. This has created an empty solution with no files at all. So we're going to need to add some files to it. The first file I'd recommend that we add is our main, where the main application is going to sit. So I'm going to right click on the project, choose add, new item, and just simply select C++ file. I'm going to call that main.cpp. There's nothing in it right now, but let's go and grab a copy of the Pixel Game Engine. On the one loan coder GitHub, it's in the Pixel Game Engine folder. There's only one file we're interested in, and that's the header file here. Now, there's two ways of getting this. One, you could clone the repo if that's what you want, but you'll get all sorts of demonstration junk and other things which we don't need. The other way is to cut and paste the contents of this file into another file, but if you click on the raw button here, this will present the file in the browser, and we can right click and choose Save As and navigate to the uh, location where you've just created the solution. In this case, it was demonstration PGE. Uh, inside the solution folder, you'll have the project folder because a solution can contain many different projects. So we're going to go into the project folder as well and save as a .h file, a C++ header file in that location. Save. Once that's downloaded, we can go back into the Visual Studio environment, right click on the project, and select add existing item and we'll see that the header file we've just downloaded is already there for us very nice now the header file uh, gives you all sorts of instructions for how to compile for different platforms and just below all of the uh, comments at the start of the file there is actually some example code to get you up and running so i like to always start a project by copying the code from that location and pasting it into our main.cpp file uh, just, I don't know why I did it, but for some reason I didn't include any spaces, so I'd like to just space it out just a tad. Now, because we created an empty project, we've not told Visual Studio how to actually compile the file. So I want us to go to Project Properties, and in C++, go to uh, All Options, because I don't know where it exists in one of these submenus. And what we'll see here is that the C++ language standard is just set to default. Well, I think we want to choose a specific standard, so I'm going to choose C++17. Don't forget, at the moment we're only targeting one particular configuration and platform. So right now it's debug uh, for 32-bit platforms. So if you are changing settings in the project properties, you also want to change them for the other types of releases you're going to make. So if we're actually producing it to be released in release mode, none of these settings will apply. We can, of course, also choose all configurations and set the same here. And that will make sure that we're compiling against the C++17 standard, regardless of whether it's a debug or a release build. Click Apply, and then at the top, click the Play button to build and run the application. And there we go, coloured dots.